Hi everyone. It's been a long minute since I've done a diptych, so I thought we would uh, trail something across that. <laughs> Messy job here getting the white down, so sorry about that. Just ignore it. I was a little messy, and that's so not like me, right? Okay, so I'm going to be using some of our Parage Posse paints, Victoria's Muscadine Wine. Our gold, our, actually this is PBO Iridescent Gold. And then this one is the Lucas Indian Yellow. And if I don't have enough, um, I'll go ahead and grab my uh, Persian Yellow from our line. But I think we'll be fine because I don't need a lot of paint to get across that. So I'm going to spray my cup WD-40 silicone spray to release the paint. I have this available in my Amazon shop. If you're new to acrylic pouring, you'll get to see how it works. When we do um, a trail like this, because I'm not doing a flip cup and I'm not doing a dirty ribbon pour, I'm going to go ahead and rub this in because I don't need additional cells. The white will help me create cells on the edges and the airbrush also works with that. So let's go ahead and do this Indian yellow first. Then we're going to go ahead and put the PBO iridescent gold in there. Now, rule of thumb, when you're doing a flip and drag, you never want to go over the height of your pinky. So let's say you're filling your cup with paint. You can put your thumb there or your finger there and make a line and you don't want to use any more than that much paint. Otherwise it's just too much for a flip and drag. But you do you. Everybody can do their own thing. I just find it works better for me. Less paint. You still get enough color. That way you don't have to tilt too much. Alright. Hopefully I won't have to tilt much at all. I'm going to start in a corner, go to the other corner. So you can watch how this paint leaves the bottom of that cup. So it's all going on to the canvas. See it? Isn't that cool? Now, if you wash your cups, Dawn dish soap will take the silicone off too. Because we do have silicone in all of our paints. If I don't use it, I tell you I don't. But other otherwise, we use it all the time. We like our cells. All right, here we go. some different pattern. I'm going to grab a little bit of this. Hit the canvas, didn't I? Right to the edge. Now you guys already know I'm going to blow this out, so we'll be filling it up some more. <laughs> Take those bubbles out, bring up a few cells. I definitely don't know if I want to stretch because <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh, I'm afraid I'll lose it. I got to take that edge off though. I had a little too much paint there. Yes, Brian, I should use clamps because that's the comment I will get from Mr. Brian. But I'm just going to blow it out. I didn't want like this big, wide um, takeover of the canvas. I love negative space with these flip and drags. So let's see how far we can blow it out. I feel like I need some red here, though. 
I can pick this. I can pick this up. And I can place that in there. And I can almost not tell, right? It's selling up. Let me um move it this way a little bit. Just want to grab the edge of it. There. I can blow it around a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is the airbrush that I have in my Amazon shop. It only blows um, 25 PSI, so you're not like whipping your paint all over the place. If you hold it like a pencil and go at an angle, you'll have more control. Because if you're going to go like this and shoot down in, you're just going to get right down to the bottom of the canvas. So sideways and hit your edge. That's all you got to do is grab the edge. I want to move that red in there. I'm not going to get it though. There we go. Open that right up. I got to have some red in there. It's too yellow for my taste. So I'm going to take a dot of red and a dot of gold. I'm going to swirl them up a little bit. I'm going to place this right in there. Tell I did that. <laughs> That's tricky. Now normally I would flip the canvases around and go this way, but I'm being brave today. I'm challenging myself. I do love that spot though. I don't think I want to blow that out very soft. Still not liking that yellow. Alright, so when you get something like this, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's kind of a loopy. Just take your tip of your glove, make sure your glove's clean. Take your tip and just pull it, and you won't have that to find loop. All right, let me see if I can mess with this little dropper down here. I'm gonna make myself a little concoction here. I'll keep that yellow to one side because that's what I don't want, but I have to have it in there to blend. Let me mix those in. Ah, grab that yellow, didn't it? We're gonna erase it. So if you wipe, take your glove, pull it, it should come right off. Because you have the white base. So it's like erasing it. I like that. It's very simple, 
minimal. I can already see it because you guys are going to say, do you miss a spot? <laughs> Needs a little color right here. Now that will continue to settle in, so I'm going to just take the tippies and just fling it in there. So now I'm going to take my skewer and we're going to wisp it out a little bit. Just to give it some movement. placed in there it looks pretty cool need something here don't I hmm let me put a touch of white doesn't look so bare there. Yeah, I'm liking that. I get out of the glare for you so you can see that corner. Beautiful. Very minimal. Yep, I think I'm happy with that. Now normally, I, you know, I blow them way out. But I'm kind of liking this flow. You know, because I sit here and I look at it and I'm like, should I put something here? You know, should I put another row here? I'm going to leave it for now. If I add to it, I'll bring you back. I'll add it on to this video. So, cool enough. I'm happy. <laughs> for now. Once I go sit down and stare at it on the camera, then I'm going to be like, ah, it needs something else. All right. Join me on Monday nights, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, we do live acrylic pouring, answer questions. Sometimes we do a giveaway, whatever we feel like doing on a Monday night. <laughs> um, check out videos Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2 p.m., Saturdays at noon. Um, email me if you have questions for anything. Uh, we do sell our paints. All that information is in the group and below down here in the video in the description box tons of links down there shop with me on Amazon get your airbrush, get your torch, get your trays pads, I have it all in there if you can't find something that you're looking for, please let me know I'll help you find it and uh, I will see you guys on the next one bye now